The U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFIC, recently issued an advisory highlighting the sanctions risk American citizens face if they help facilitate ransomware payments. In the advisory, the OFIC says it will continue to impose sanctions on those who materially assist, sponsor, or provide financial, material, or technological support for these activities. In the document, the OFIC argues that acceding to ransomware demands which are normally settled using cryptocurrencies not only embolden cybercriminals but also threatens the national security and foreign policy objectives of the United States. Instead, the OFIC encourages victims and those involved with addressing ransomware attacks to contact OFIC immediately if they believe a request for a ransomware payment may involve a sanctions nexus. Detailing the gravity of such offenses, the advisory says the OFIC may impose civil penalties for sanctions violations based on strict liability. This means that any person that is subject to U.S. jurisdiction may be held civilly liable even if it did not know or have reason to know it was engaging in a transaction with a person that is prohibited under sanctions laws. Still, the document provides links to resources that Americans can use to determine if their activities amount to a violation of laws. For instance, OFIC's Economic Sanctions Enforcement Guidelines provide more information regarding the Office's enforcement of U.S. Economic Sanctions. The guidelines also include the factors that OFIC generally considers when determining an appropriate response to an apparent violation. Meanwhile, the OFIC says it wants financial institutions and other companies to implement a risk-based compliance program to mitigate exposure to sanctions-related violations. According to the US Sanctions Enforcement Office, this applies to companies that engage with victims of ransomware attacks. Such companies include those involved in providing cyber insurance, digital forensics and incident response and financial services that may involve processing ransom payments, including Depository Institute. You can read full post on cryptophones. News link available in text below.